If you're an Amazon seller that wants to connect your ManyChat account with your Seller Central account so that you can automate processes like order verification and processing rebates, giving out uh, gift cards, and they have the option to choose which gift card they want, you know, whether it's Amazon or Best Buy or Target or just even a Visa gift card, then stay tuned on this video because me and Troy from Seller.Tools are going to be showing you just how easy it is to connect your ManyChat account with your Seller Central account using the platform seller.tools. So let's go ahead and jump into it, starting with introducing you to Troy. What's up, Troy? Hey, Ian. Thanks for having me. Excited to be talking about this integration, the implications that this has for Amazon sellers. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ian Smith. I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media, and we help with a lot of Amazon sellers with running Facebook ads and building out messenger bots, just like what we're going to show you in this video. So if you're interested in booking a call with me, head over to evolvemedia.agency. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer showing you just how easy it is to add this seller tools app to your mini chat account, okay? So now you can see my screen, and as you can see, we're on a page that uh, ManyChat is just now creating this whole new section on their website called the apps section, basically. How to get to this page is basically by going to apps, dot manychat.com slash seller tools. And we're going to link it below. If you're seeing this as a, on Facebook, then the link is going to be below. If you're seeing this on YouTube, then just link is in the description. But um, but yeah, so basically this page right here is how you're going to install the app and add it to your mini chat account, right? So you're going to want to click on this big blue install app button right there, which is going to take you to this page inside mini chat. Very simple, you just click on the install button down there below, and then that is going to basically have you select which page you want to actually install it on, you know, which mini chat account if you have multiple accounts, and then you're going to be brought to this settings page right here. Now, how you actually view this apps and change the settings and put in your seller tools API to actually connect your seller central account with ManyChat is by going to your ManyChat settings area and then in the apps area along this left column here, click on the apps area and you'll see seller.tools right here. Now, you do need a seller.tools account. What you're going to do is you're going to basically connect your seller.tools account with your seller central account through that API, and then you're going to be connecting your seller central your your seller tools account with your ManyChat account using the seller tools API, okay? So, you're going to put the seller tools API here by clicking those three little dots right there, clicking settings, and then you copy paste your live seller tools API and your test seller tools API into these two boxes right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly show you how to actually find those API keys when you're in the seller tools platform. So once you're logged in in the seller tools platform and you're in the dashboard area, here along the left column here, is API. You just click on API and then it will show you those two keys. Troy, do you actually have to create those or are these automatically just created with your account? They're automatically created. So you'll see those visible as soon as you have access. And as you mentioned, um, in many sellers, you're probably accustomed to syncing your MWS. That's one of the first things uh, that you'll do with really any tool, uh, seller tools included, to sync your uh, Seller Central with um, a third party tool. So uh, you may be familiar, we walk you through that as well. And as Ian alluded to, this is really three steps of clicking install, of picking the ManyChat page, and then uh, those readily available API keys, just adding them over, bringing them over from Solo Tools to ManyChat. That's all these tool two, two tools need to be able to effectively communicate with one another. Right. So once you have your API keys, you know, all connected, seller tools connected with your Amazon, connected with your ManyChat, then you can go ahead and install the actual free ManyChat template that Seller.Tools just gives you. So to get that free template, you come down here into the ManyChat area, you click on Flows, okay? Then we're going to be showing you how to actually set up one of the most popular ManyChat templates that people are using these days. So it is the rebate automation to actually you know, automatically process rebates and get a lot of people buying your product, doing the whole search find buy thing, buying your product, automatically verifying the order, and then processing that rebate by giving them a gift card of their choice. So what you're going to want to do is click on this little rebate card right there. It's going to open up this pop-up. As you can see right here, you can read through this. You can actually get a little preview of the flow in that window. Now, if it'll let me 
accept cookies. There we go. Okay, so it'll get, show you a little preview preview of the actual flow. It is kind of complex. Don't get overwhelmed. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to edit this flow, make it work for your business. It's very simple. Um, Seller Tools has actually labeled all the different places in the flow that you need to change and update. And it's really only like three places, right, Troy? It's only a couple places. Yep. Yeah, that's all it is. And, you know, as you mentioned, it's this is a free flow. It'll walk through how to get it set up. Um, but I definitely don't want you thinking when you hear free that this is just a basic flow. We have, uh, we're very fortunate as a tool provider, yeah. the amount of rebates that we process per month uh, exceeds a million dollars in rebates per month. So as we have uh, continually really try to innovate uh, with our flows, our templates, our automations, the, these flows have really benefited from us applying more best practices, refining from learning, and using the, the true strategies of top sellers, uh, our team included, to make sure that this, even though it's free, it is giving you really some of the advanced features and functions to make sure you're using ManyChat at a very high level. Yeah, and we're about to show you the flow. So you'll see that it is not uh, basic just because it's free. So anyway, you click on download now, which is then going to, uh, again, show you, you know, in many chat, it's going to say, hey, select which page you want to add it to, click a couple buttons, then it will bring you to this page right here, where you just need to fill out a couple of forms, a couple little fields, and then you'll be all set and ready to go. So uh, it's called the US rebate automation, pick reward link gift cards. Now, um, Troy, what is the API counter name? So the API counter name is a unique name that you can give the counter. And as the, the name implies, what a counter does sets a limit. You, let's say you wanted to have a limit uh, for a given day of how many people could take advantage of a rebate offer. So you could set that to 10. Well, you want to give that counter a specific name that allows you to more easily manage it. And it's a unique function of seller.tools. So we're, we're kind of giving you a chance to uniquely identify um, how you're using that counter if you have multiple ASINs that you're running uh, launches for, that you have multiple limitations, some have 10, some have eight, just helps you to really easily um, describe and give that counter a unique name. So, I mean, an example name could be like product A or like garlic press, something like that. Yep, exactly. You know, ASIN counter one, ASIN counter two, where you're making sure okay. that if you're even running multiple promotions over the same ASIN, really organizing uh, your counters. Gotcha. Okay. So ASIN, pretty self-explanatory. Copy paste your ASIN for your product in there. Troy, what is the benefit of them putting the ASIN in? Uh, that's going to be a part of the ASIN verification. So what we do automatically for you is when we verify an order, we also look and make sure that that order includes your ASIN. We ensure that once we have visibility into that ASIN, we pull the price of that ASIN. When we pull the price, we look at then what rebate amount that customer is eligible for. And again, all of this is done automatically, but that's all you have to do is just drop in an ASIN and let the flow, let the automation, let Cello Tools kind of do the heavy lifting uh, with you dropping that, uh, that information in the, in the template process. Yeah, and one thing I definitely want to say is that Seller Tools has made it very easy for you to be protected against people who want to try and abuse these kind of flows. You know, people that want to try and go through this multiple times, or maybe they bought a product over here from you and they want to try to cheat the system and use, you know, their order ID for this rebate so that they don't have to buy your specific product that you're trying to run a rebate for. So there's a lot of different safeguards in this actual uh, template and flow. So really big props to Seller Tools for putting these Temp these safeguards in there and also um, the blacklist. Troy, do you want to just quickly explain what the whole blacklist feature is about? Yeah, absolutely. So the blacklist, as the name implies, allows you to determine who you do not want to take part of your flows or offers. You have different parameters that you can set where whether it's an order ID where a customer comes in and tries to maybe use the same order ID, you can ensure that the blacklist limits that uh, that customer from taking advantage or verifying that order. Or if you have the customer's email, you can utilize that because that's a key part of this process. It's part of our list building efforts with our flow where we ask for a customer's email to send them their rebate, which of course, again, gives us their email to re-engage them. Uh, but if we see that email pop up again and it's on our blacklist, uh, we can ensure that they're not eligible. So as the name implies, it sort of lets you determine who's eligible, who's not, and you can use that selectively, whether you want to really refine who can come in or you want to maybe just keep out some bad actors that you spot that you don't want to see coming through your flows. Definitely, definitely. Okay, so max daily giveaways, you can basically enter in, you know, if you want to limit it to 20 people, 20 rebates a day, you can put that number in there. Your optimized link, Troy, do you want to explain what this optimized link is? 
Yeah. So the optimized link is actually uh, usually your keyword driven link to where if you use a super URL, two step URL, uh, that's what you'll use in that place. And so um, I've kind of coined that term, the optimized link, but it's a keyword driven link. You can use Jenny, our free uh, URL generator to create uh, the optimized link of your choice. But it's a great way in terms of your ranking benefit to ensure uh, when you're driving traffic to your Amazon detail page, that keyword is embedded uh, and you, you know, you earn that ranking benefit. Yeah, and, and if you want to play it ultra safe and change to do a little bit of a different strategy than what this template has been out, built out for, you can easily change it to be more of like a search find by where you can kind of give them instructions in the messenger bot to say, hey, search this keyword and then go to this page or look for this product or look for this title, right? They can do something like that, Troy. Absolutely, yep. The flow is completely customizable and uh, also to, uh, to seller's benefits, we also have free flows that include search find by and a few other strategies that we've kind of pioneered uh, notably one called auto SFB, but that can be some homework for, uh, for another time, some other free flows that you can take advantage of as well. Okay, cool. So optimized review link. So after they go through the actual rebate flow at the end of it all, you can link them over to leave a review. Is that's right? That's right, Troy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Product name, pretty self-explanatory there. Review request waiting period. So after they go through the whole rebate process, then you can set how long do you want the review follow-up message or it's an email, right? They're going to be hit with an email asking for the review, right, Troy? That's correct. We deliver the rebate via email. And so then we also follow up um, for the review via email. We, we tie that in. It's kind of a uh, a really smart way of saying, if we're going to send value to a customer, that email that they give us, if, if I were to give you $20, Ian, you're going to probably give me your best email. Well, then we're going to use that best email and say, well, let's, that's a really great way to think about re-engaging them, uh, supporting them, and then also requesting uh, review. Right. Yep. Um, and then lastly, most importantly, though, is the wallet balance minimum amount. So, what you're going to have, like I can show you here in this Seller Tools account, is the wallet balance up there. Now, this is the whole way that the rebate actually gets processed. You got to have a, an amount, a money amount with Seller Tools so that as rebates get sent out and gift cards are being sent out, they're being deducted from this wallet balance. So what this little section does is, you know, when that balance reaches 50 bucks or whatever, then you need to re-up and refill your wallet so that people aren't getting uh, you know, hit with lack of funds or anything like that. Anything you want to touch on there, Troy? Yeah, you, you will get notified if, if you set a threshold and it goes under that amount as the, the flow is active. So that's really the point is to make sure that you're on top of it. It's a safeguard for you. Um, but set a set a comfortable, if not conservative, amount to make sure that you're notified of okay, I'm you know I'm starting to creep lower. I understand what you know how many people I'm letting in because I've set my max daily, daily giveaways. I know my retail price in terms of the rebate amount per giveaway, um, and then kind of configure your wallet and your minimum wallet balance with that in mind. Yep. Okay. So now let's go ahead and show you this flow. I know that this video is going on pretty long, so let's try and just quickly go through this flow, but. As you can see here, this is the flow. If I zoom all the way out, just to give you a quick preview, um, I don't want you to get intimidated by it. It actually is pretty simple. If you just follow these little uh, sticky notes, these little yellow tags in there. So change checklist. There's really three things that you, you should change. Um, also, again, you can customize this thing however much you want, but you got your product tag, product condition, and then your product specific copy and images and things like that. So I'm not, we're not going to go through every single little place in here, but um, you know, you can see here, here's another tag, a little um, sticky note. So in here, you would want to change that tag to be your product, right? Um, it kind of also explains to you what's happening in the actual message flow. So present terms of offer. If you want to change the terms, adjust them, you just simply click right there and then you can easily edit the message however you'd like. Seller tools blacklist information is right there. Offer the product. Uh, it's just kind of explaining to you what's happening during these different parts of the flow. Ask and verify order. So this is when they're actually giving you their order ID. Um, let's see here. Order status confirmation. Troy, do you have anything else to add during these parts while I just kind of skip through this? No, the template really helps to uh, have you configure. I mean, it's less than 10 things you have to add. The three part checklist that we include with the notes 
Um, and like I said, we knew that building and developing a flow is the most time intense. We know that very well. It's very time intensive, very involved. And so by giving this away for free, we wanted to give sellers a massive uh, leg up and it's completely customizable. If there's something that you see that you want to change, whether it's your category, your customer, your product, that uh, it warrants a tweak, optimization or refinement, make that change. But we wanted to make sure it was just very accessible. Um, and then with this direct integration, it's just made it all the easier to uh, to get started. I mean, we're, we're measuring it now in a matter of minutes where we knew sellers were running into days of work, weeks of work to really kind of get more advanced strategies and automation. Um, but now it's, you know, we all, we all have the ability. It's, it's uh, really leveled the playing field. Definitely, yeah. So as you can see, you're editing tags, you're changing the names of tags. Um, let's see if I can find any more. This is that review step that we mentioned. You know, with ManyChat, you can send out emails. You can also do SMS with ManyChat, but um, this is a cool part. Uh, after that whole rebate thing has been processed, rebate flow has been processed, then it'll send them this email right here saying, how are you liking your product? First name, it looks like you had your product name for a while now. How are you liking it? So um, that's the little review step right there. Um, this is where you can, where that review request waiting period goes. It kind of automatically puts that information in from the field into this smart delay. But um, yeah, that is pretty much everything that we wanted you guys to, to cover. Obviously, if you have questions and everything, you can reach out to Seller Tools support and ask them if you get hung up on anything. Um, if you need help setting up this flow or running Facebook ads, then me and my team would love to help you. Again, my name is Ian with EvolveMedia.agency. Um, you can book a free consulting call with me and I can answer any questions as well for you regarding this whole rebate campaign, seller tools, things like that. But yeah, before we wrap it up, Troy, anything else you wanna add in? No, I'm just hoping everybody dives in, takes full advantage, get access to the free flows. You're seeing how easy it is to integrate these tools now, three steps away from integrating with uh, mini chat would encourage join the conversation in our Facebook group FBA Kings. That's where we love to support. It's a great community uh, as well. Many seller tools users, uh, folks focusing on advanced strategies. So uh, would encourage you know continuing the conversation there and take advantage of you know everything that's out now. It's an exciting time for Amazon sellers using some really powerful tools. Definitely, definitely. And I know that I'm excited about using this stuff. It's really helped us deliver more value and really help our clients launch new products. So it's definitely something that you need to just take a little bit of time to, to check out and see if it's something that can help you scale your business. But uh, thank you so much for watching this video. And I guess we'll catch you in the next one.